What is up you guys? It is RJ. We are here with a guide to Mamamoo. Technically, it's called the Mamamoo Introduction Guide of 2022. Uh, we're going to be doing both part one and part two. This is from the channel Moo uh, YT. Uh, now, I did see um, a lot of different comments for different types of guides. Mainly, it was between this one and the one from Purple Hawk. Um, and additionally, I did see uh, Sir Austin uh, left a comment as well uh, recommending Purple Hawk to Sir Austin, if you're watching this, thank you for the recommendation for that. Uh, Cause I honestly was a toss up between the two of them. Um, but the good thing is, I'm, is I can watch both and I plan to watch both. Um, I'm choosing this one because this one is the most recent guide. Um, and yeah, that was my main reasoning <laughs> behind it. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know when the other one came out, but I don't think it really makes a difference necessarily. I, I'm, I'm gonna check the both of them out because they were both heavily recommended. Um, so yeah. So this is going to be part one and part two. We have the members and the group. Uh, I'm really excited. This is going to be a lengthy video, so strap in, uh, but let's do it. All right, here we go with part one. Let's do it. Mama moves since 2018. Oh. I already like this vibe. Okay, first of all, <laughs> that opening was absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go back though because I didn't catch right away that she was saying everyone's name and I wanna hear the pronunciation if I can. I also love how the opening said it was inspired by the Purple Hawk Guide for comedians. I heard about this, the Tully Tubbies thing. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Solar. Is it Solar? Oh, it fit. What's this? This is Sola, real name Kim Young Sun. Sola's name comes from Do Re Mi Fa Sola. Sola is an. Wait, I was expecting a robot lady. <laughs> Or, or just nothing. So that was new. Okay. This is Sola. Real name Kim Young Sun. Sola's name comes from Do Re Mi Fa Sola. Sola is an oh. idol well known for her outstanding powerful vocals. Yo, she and Wendy need As to the oldest member, collab. Sola is the leader of Mamamoo. <laughs> Oh, 
제가 그동안 너무 막 뭐라고만 했던 그 모습이 너무 생각이 막 나가지고 미안하고. 너무 미안했어요. 그래서 그냥 그냥 말을 안 해도 뭔가 알고는 있었거든요. 음. 진짜 음. 저는 언니로서 뭔가 그 리더로서의 역할이 진짜 평소 해보지 않았던 역할이니까 또 많이 힘들었는데 저희가 너무 깔아앉아 있으면 이제 억지로라도 이제 언니가 이제 Although she may That's seem good. extremely strict and sensible, Sola is actually kind of crazy in the best way you can think of. Oh, this hair. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, it was a glass bottle? What the hell? I love how she just sits there screaming at it. What the hell? <laughs> Being the eldest member comes with its downsides though. The other members love to tease Sola. Always. It's always the leaders that get teased. Or always the older members. They're just not paying her any attention. <laughs> it's over now. <laughs> now that you've shown up. <laughs> <laughs> None of Mamamoo like being told what they can or can't do, and this includes Sola, who is headstrong and confident in everything she tries. Wow, she's beautiful. She's not wearing any makeup either right now. People are bold. Wow, she's gorgeous. Yeah, same though. She's in great shape. Lots of male idols rip their shirts. Yes, yes, which is exactly what I thought as soon as she did this. So I, I, the first person that came to mind was Wano. Since 2019, Sola has been running her own YouTube channel where she posts a variety of different content. I mean, I know other males uh, do it too, but... Wow. <laughs> her content ranges from health videos, to vlogs, really? to mukbangs, to covers, 
and even awareness videos to spread awareness on important topics. Oh, I love that. Wow. I'm not the find that channel. Was that Irene? Or Soggy? How Soggy? Also, damn, these songs. This is Moonbyul, Moon real name Moon Pyeri. AKA Shimin. AKA. She also goes by her rap name, Moonstar. Moonstar. This is because Pyeol translates to star in English. Moonbyul is Mamamoo's rapper. She writes all of her own rap verses and is the most credited female idol in K-pop. Is that right? Oh, that's so freaking impressive to me, and that makes me want to hear all of her music. I love that. Oh, I have so much to consume. I'm so excited. Wow. Mamamoo does not have official positions, however, Moonbyul is one of two members that are labeled as being in charge of performance. So, choreographer. Though she auditioned as a vocalist, Moonbyul was forced to become a rapper in order to debut with the group. Why? After regaining her confidence, Moonbyul began to show her vocals in her own solo project. Why was she forced? So that, I'm assuming that was a um, dramatization of maybe real events that took place. Um, so that's interesting because she was not as strong a vocalist as the other members in the group. They were like, either you're going to rap or you're not going to be in the group. Damn. That's kind of sad. I love that she's still able to show off her vocals though. Pretty. Moonbyul is well known for experimenting with both feminine and masculine styles, both in her music and her fashion. I have noticed that. All those boots. As wow. a professional troll, Moonbyul is always teasing the people that she's close to. <laughs> 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 oh, 
아니지. <웃음> It's a lie. <웃음> 백억이냐 마마무냐? 어. 마마무는 아니고 솔로는 할수 있어요. 하나, 둘, 셋. 마마무. As you might have guessed, Moonpil likes to joke around a lot. Tipsy life. Also, something we refer to as greasy, which is basically just flirting in a really cheesy way. Okay. Greasy, interesting. 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 말고 다른 거 도전해 보고 싶은 건 있습니까? 아 느끼 느끼 어, 느끼 느끼 아, 느끼 다 돼요 다 돼요 다 됩니다 음... 아 너무 잘 어울린다 <laughs> Moonbill has a YouTube channel as well as a hugely successful radio show. She oh. received a Daesang Award in the category of live streaming show DJ for her show Studio Moon Knight. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, she's pretty. This is Huyen, real name Jung Huyen. Her name comes from a Korean comic character, making it very rare and unique. Huyen hmm. is treasured throughout South Korea for her flexible honey vocals. Ooh, I like this song. That's beautiful. Huyen is the second member in charge of performance in Malamu. 
Trash? For a second, I thought this was her song. <laughs> the way it came out was, I'm pretty sure they said Big Dick Energy, and I was like, <laughs> okay. Queen is very shy, although she recently began to overcome her anxiety. That's good. <laughs> Same though. <laughs> 휘인입니다. <웃음> 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 like Sola, Hyun is playful and fun when she's in a comfortable environment. Same. <웃음> 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 <laughs> I love this outfit. <laughs> though she's not the youngest, Queen is the cutest member of Malamu, though she hates to admit it. <laughs> oh my god, her outfit! The baby cry though. is an ace. Everything she tries comes naturally to her. Oh wow. I've always wanted to do archery. Yo, she's killing it. Wow. Queen is very artistic, a trait she got from her mother. She loves to draw, and she even has the most tattoos out of the members, including matching ones with fellow member Fasa. Oh. 
so I heard her say Hasa. Bian and Hasa have been friends for over 10 years as they met in middle school. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Pian also has a YouTube channel, which is enjoyed even by non-fans due to her bright personality. <laughs> So it's Hasa. Hasa. Let me make sure my camera's not gonna shut off. Oh my god. Sorry, it was a combination of her and the backup dancers. <laughs> this is Hwasa, real name Hwasa. Anne Kitchen. Hwasa. Her baptismal name is Maria. Hwasa okay. is best known for her sultry, jazz style vocals. I kind of noticed that. Mm, it's very breathy, too. This is so weird. The vocals are in this ear and like the music is in this ear. Wow. I love whatever that was. Ooh. Also her outfit. What makes Wasa especially memorable is her great stage presence, which is a huge contributing factor to her success within South Korea. Yes! <laughs> I love her. I gotta say, I think she might be my bias in this group. I love it. Hwasa is part of Mama Moo's rapper line, although the position has minimized over the years. Mm. Sleep in the car. <laughs> Dang, do you see her fingernails? Although she may not seem like it, Hossa is actually the youngest member of Mamamoo, and she lives up to the title well. 
<laughs> that Grinch is terrifying. <laughs> Was that her ponytail? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> she may seem intimidating at first, but Hwasa is actually a very emotive person who feels very deeply. Don't <laughs> 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 아, 굉장히 여린 친구여 가지고 아, 또 이제 막 걱정도 많고 그런 음. 것 때문에 되게 약간 슬플 때도 많고 막 음. 눈물이 있을 때도 많고 아, 감수성이 <웃음> 그쪽은 네, 감수성이 맞아요. 굉장히 감수성. 풍부해서 아, 또 이제 세상에서 제일 무서운 것은 무서운 것 사람. Yes. <웃음> Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking before she even said it. And doing what she wants to do instead. I love that. Good <laughs> Much like the other members of Mamma Mia, Hase is very playful, especially when she's with Huyen. Hwasa also has a YouTube channel. Yes, every single member of Mamamoo has their own YouTube channel. Wow. But as of right now, Hwasa does not have a schedule. She posts special content onto her YouTube channel for the fans, the Moomoos. Moomoos, okay. What to watch next? Seen that? I've not seen this ridiculous. I've seen my flower. No I like the song. Vibe. Oh, part two. So this is the mem the group, right?
By the way, don't worry about this spoiling anything for me Let's because I'm start. telling you right now I'm not going to remember half of the music Welcome that I hear in here. So, let me take you on a trip to the past. This is pre-debut Mamamoo. Do I need the captions? Oh my god, get Believe out of here. It or not, Mamamoo went through their fair share of adversities to get to where they are today. Mumbio and Hwasa struggled especially with their weight not matching up to the standards of many companies. They were often rejected for being too fat. You gotta be kidding. It's so frustrating. In Sola's case, companies often reject about to say something. for age. Anyone past their teenage years was seen as too old to become a trainee. Mamamoo were told that they weren't pretty enough, but instead of letting this get them down, they used it as motivation. And before any of this, members Moonbyul and Huyin were set to debut under a completely different company in another group as Lida and Makne. But alas, wow. our fated Mamamoo was brought together under RBW Entertainment, and they made their debut on June 19th. Mamamoo debuted in 2014 with the song Mr. Ambiguous. Just a couple Mr. months Ambiguous. after, they followed up with their second title track, Piano Man, sticking to their old school retro theme. Hey, Who's that? <laughs> he looks like Minhak from Big B2B for At some Mama reason. At Mamamoo's debut stage, there was only three people in the audience, two being Moonbill's sisters and one being Queen's friend. Being the first group to debut under their company, they had to find ways to promote themselves. In January 2015, they made their first appearance on the show Immortal Songs 2. Although they didn't know it then, appearing on Immortal Songs would help showcase their talents to many people. They continued to appear on the show regularly for the first few years of their career. And, by the way, many iconic performances were born on that show, so if you're ever talking to a Moomoo who recommends them, definitely check out the performances. It's me, I'm Moomoo, recommending you to check out the performances. <laughs> yes, I've seen um, people recommend Immortal Songs in the comments as well, so... Damn, popping off. As a result of their unique sound and powerful vocals, Mamamoo ended up winning multiple rookie awards at the end of the year of their debut. Wow. Mamamoo's next comeback was entitled Um Oh Ah Yeah. They decided to ditch their signature retro sound for something more youthful. That sounds fine. At this point, Mamamoo was getting desperate. They and the company considered disbandment if this song didn't do well. 
Mamamoo decided to try and make their performances more unique to attract attention. <laughs> so they changed it up every single performance. Thankfully, Um Alaya was successful and became their first song to reach top three on the charts. Nice. But despite this, Mamamoo still needed all the promotion they could get. They were severely overworked by their company, often performing at several different festivals each day. Wow. They carried on performing at various festivals until the coronavirus pandemic in early 2020. After that came the song You're the Best, along with their first full album, Melting. Finally, after two hard years, Mamamoo earned their first win with You're the Best. Oh, it's Astro behind them. Cute. Next came the song Decal Comedy. You know, it makes me wonder at what point do I'll groups start. I'll refrain like, from playing more of the MV so this doesn't get age restricted. Joking. <laughs> On the accompanying album, Memory, Mamamoo released a song for their fans called I Love Too. The Korean title is Nochi Anukke, which means Never Letting Go. This is in reference to an event that Mumu's put together for Mamamoo, telling them they'll never let go. At the end of the year, Mamamoo performed at the Blue Dragon Awards, where they went viral for incorporating the names of actors into their performance. <laughs> then came Yes I Am. <laughs> Yes I Am has a positive message inspiring self-confidence and going against harsh beauty standards. Honestly, though. Mamamoo are well known for uplifting others and have also shown support towards the LGBT community in various ways, like through their clothing and their statements. We'd love to see that. <laughs> Facts. Facts. A huge amount of the fandom are part of the LGBT and find Mamamoo to be their safe space, which is why the Rainbow Moos organization was formed. The Rainbow what? Which is why the Rainbow Moos organization oh, was wow, formed. Oh wow, really? Next up, Starry Night. <laughs> If you watched the part one to this guide, or many other fan videos, you may have noticed the subtitles in different colours. They're used to differentiate between the members, and were decided due to the Four Seasons Four Colours project, in which each member was assigned a colour along with the season. Starry Night began the project along with its album, Yellow Flower. Yellow Flower is the album project of Mamamoo's 
포 시즌의 첫 시작이라고 할수 있는 그런 의미 있는 앨범이에요. 예. 그리고 또 저희가 각자 맡고 있는 색깔이 있는데 음. 이제 결량 같은 경우는 레드를 맡고 있고 저는 블루, 화이트, 옐로. 옐로. 이게 또 사랑에 저희가 빗대서 또 색을 표현을 해봤는데 okay. Each album of the project has a solo song on it. Since Yellow Flower is Hwasa's album, it contains Hwasa's solo song, Be Calm. Absolutely Egotistic. Let's song the second away. album of the project is called Red Moon, containing Moonbyung's solo song, Selfish. Soggy! Nice! Windflower. The third album of the project is called Blues and contains Solo's song Hello, although unfortunately it does not have a music video. Her voice is just so beautiful. Go Go Bebe. The final album is called White Wind and it contains Huyen's solo song 25. After the release of Go Go Bebe, Mama Moo took part in the show Queendom. They worked hard oh. for the show despite also performing their Four Seasons concert at the same time. Their work paid off and Mamamoo won Queendom. Really? <laughs> Damn, that's awesome. Shortly I wonder if else they would have been as well. Hip. Hip is Mamamoo's best performing song so far, with over 300 million views on YouTube. The concept shows three different realities in which Mamamoo are in different career paths, and the song aims to tell the listener that no matter what you do, you're already cool or hip exactly as you are. Mamamoo always aims to use their platform in order to spread positive and powerful messages to their audience. I love that. <laughs> 이 시대가 말하는 미의 기준에 내가 맞지 않다면 내가 또 다른 기준이 Say it louder for the mother who is in the back. This is why I love what I've been hearing from them. 타인의 시선에 의식하지 않는 삶 가장 나다울 수 있는 삶에 대해서 이야기하는 부분입니다. Yes. 또 그런 부분에서 조금 더나 자신을 사랑하자라는 거를 더 표현하고 싶었던 것 같아요. 힙에서. 그러니까 뭔가 남의 눈치를 보다 보면 제 자신을 잃어버리는 시기가 되게 존재하더라고요. So 직업이 어떻든 간에. 근데 자기 자신을 먼저 사랑하고 자기 모습을 그대로 당당하게 생각을 한다면 그 누구도 그런 다 멋있는 사람이 될수 있다고 저는 생각이 들기 때문에 힙을 통해서 많은 분들이 Wow, I literally just love what everything they stand for. For the first time during HIP, Mamamoo began using head mics in order to showcase more intense choreography than usual and to disprove claims that they can't dance. Dang, everyone's always got something negative to say. 
오베베 때부터 뭔가 좀 춤과 일가견이 생긴 것 같아요. 저희가요. 마음은 춤. Mamamoo also inspire others by refusing to be treated badly. At the 2019 MMA Awards, Mamamoo were mistreated, getting less than 10 minutes to perform despite being veterans compared to some others in the lineup. They were also ignored on the red carpet, and their song was sped up in order to fit into their short time slot. Wow. Kwasi used her dancers to imply that the PD of the show is stupid, and they were visibly angry in their performance whilst throwing shade. They went on to sign the car door instead of the window like everyone else, and have not attended MMA since. Wow. Aya. Despite saying that the head mics wouldn't return after hip, Mamamoo continued to ditch the handheld mics for their Aya promotions and showcased another choreography that is more intense than their usual style. Where are we now? With this song, Mamamoo released the album entitled Where Are We, or WAW, which is an album containing four ballad tracks. Where Are We Now was released before Mamamoo's contract renewal was confirmed, and it served as a reflection on the seven years that Mamamoo had spent together up until that point. All of Mamamoo renewed their contracts, expressing their wish for Mamamoo to continue for as long as possible. Queen signed an exclusive contract with RBW, allowing her to be a part of the group activities whilst also being signed under the live for her solo activities. Interesting. Around this time, Mamamoo were also filming their documentary, Where Are We Now? in which they opened up about the troubles they faced as a group during their career and the concerns about their group relationship in the present. Hmm. Now we reach the present. Mamamoo's most recent album is a compilation album with remix and remixes of their hit songs, released to commemorate their seventh year as a group. The album is called I Say Mamamoo The Best. <laughs> they released a new song for the title track called Mamamamuch. Mamamamuch? <laughs> Ooh, I like it. As well as being talented artists who take part in writing and composing, they are soulmates whose bonds can't be broken. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, they sound beautiful though. Cleaning windows. Wow, what a great guy. My camera shut off like mid, congratulations. <laughs> um, this was such a well put together guide. Like honestly, it's probably one of the best guides I feel like I've watched. It's very interesting to um, hear about like everything they've had to kind of overcome um, ever since the debut. And it's really crazy to me that they even considered this bandmate. And I, I don't think I finished my sentence when they were talking about that area, but it makes me wonder like what exactly has to happen for the group to um, consider disbanding. Um, I mean, I, I, I assume it can't just be one sole thing. There must have to be like multiple reasons to do that. Cause I know um, there's some groups that I feel like uh, fans are probably like blindsided by a disbandment because it doesn't seem like it would even be something to consider. And then it happens and it's like, why, where did this come from? But I mean, I feel like maybe some other groups you probably like understand why it happened or like it's, it's not surprising to you or anything. Um, so in their case, I guess, I, or just in any group's cases, I guess I just wonder what is the, like, how does that happen? Is there like talk about this all the way for a long time? Or is this something that's just suddenly considered? Um, or are the members blindsided by this? Or I don't know. It just made me think that, uh, cause that's a really crappy, situation to be in, but I'm glad they were able to succeed and overcome and get to where they are now, um, which makes me more excited because there's just more content for me to consume. There was a lot of songs in here that I really liked, um, a lot of their solos, and just a ton of stuff. So yeah, this was an awesome guide. So I, like I said, I'm excited. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here, you guys. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if that's your thing, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.